For his opening few bars, Beethoven did not wish the entire orchestra to be playing, and so he dismissed five of these 12 instruments. First the oboe, and the bassoon, horn, trumpet, and timpani. Here is the manuscript as he started it with the remaining seven instruments accounted for. But there is something crossed out, the flute part. So we know that Beethoven, at least for a second, was going to include the flute in his opening. Now why did he cross it out? Let's hear how it would have sounded with the flute left in. You hear those high piping tones of the flute? They don't seem somehow to fit into the brusque, rude atmosphere of this opening. Beethoven clearly wanted the strongest, most masculine utterance he could get at the beginning of this symphony. And he therefore decided to orchestrate entirely with instruments that played normally in the register of the male speaking or singing voice. The flute, of course, is the instrumental equivalent of a soprano voice and therefore is intruding here like a delicate lady at a club smoker. So out came the flute. Now let's see how masculine it sounds without him. You see, many of us assume that when we hear the symphony today, it sounds so simple and right that it must have spilled out of Beethoven in one steady gush. But not at all. Beethoven left pages and pages of discarded material similar to these sketches here, enough to fill a whole book. He rejected, he rewrote, he tore up, he crossed out. He sometimes altered passages as much as 20 times. We can see some of those alterations here in this facsimile of the original manuscript score. Look at that. Look at those agonized changes, those feverish scrolls. Why, well, here it's been crossed out so many times that there doesn't seem to be any room anymore. In fact, there isn't room anymore for the right notes, the final version, which he had to write down at the bottom of the page as a kind of footnote, leaving it to the copyists to figure out what he meant. I admire and pity those poor copyists. <laughs> 